Hello and welcome back to Teacher's Helper 123. Today we're going to learn about how the sun and ocean shapes our weather and you'll see the water cycle and how that pertains to the ocean as well. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You've probably learned about the water cycle in previous grades all the way from first grade and up. But have you ever wondered how the sun and the ocean work together to create the weather we experience today? The weather can range from gentle rain to powerful hurricanes. It all starts right here with the sun and the sea. Please be sure to comment what your favorite type of weather is. My favorite weather is a sunny day, not too hot, um, just enough so that I can walk outside. The sun is an energy source. The sun is the ultimate source of energy for our planet. Its rays warm the surface of the earth and the ocean absorbs most of that heat. In fact, the ocean stores and moves huge amounts of solar energy, kind of like an earth's giant battery. So with the solar energy, the sun absorbs and you can use that energy throughout many things, including your computer or your iPad. As you can see in this image, it's going to illustrate water molecules rising up as vapors from the ocean. As the sun heats the surface of the ocean, water molecules gain energy and evaporate. Evaporate means to disappear turning from liquid into water vapor. This invisible vapor rises into the atmosphere, beginning the water cycle, which is nature's endless recycling system. As you can see in this image, we have evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection, which you should have learned in earlier grades. But if you need a refresher, take a look at this image here. As warm, moist air rises, it cools and condenses into tiny droplets. These droplets form clouds. When these droplets join together and get very heavy, rain or snow falls back to the earth as precipitation. This process doesn't just make weather, it moves heat and moisture around the planet, shaping our climate. Comment below if you're a fan of precipitation. Do you like rain? Do you like snow? I don't really like snow, but I do enjoy a rainy day. In this image, you'll see cold and warm currents. The sun's uneven heating creates wind and ocean currents. Warm water from the equator travels through the poles while cold water moves back down. These currents act like a conveyor belt, redistributing heat across the planet and influencing weather patterns everywhere, from tropical rains to icy winters. Now, when the ocean water gets really warm, it can even feel massive storms like a hurricane or a typhoon. The warm water evaporates quickly and that rising moist air releases energy spinning into a powerful system that can travel thousands of miles. After the rain falls, water flows through the rivers and streams back into the ocean, completing the water cycle. And then the sun starts the whole process all over again. So it's like a recycling system. So remember, every cloud, every wave, and every breeze it's all part of the amazing teamwork between the sun and the ocean, driving the water cycle and shaping the weather that sustains life on Earth. I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you really enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and comment below, and let me know what other science videos you would like to see. Also, what is your favorite kind of weather? Thank you, and have a great week.